Does the recent shooting in Texas mean that we should, as some are saying in the media, ban firearms? I say no. Hi, Alex McFarland. Thanks for watching. You know, the unspeakably tragic, evil thing that happened in Texas this week as we filmed this, the shooting at Robb Elementary School, 21 lives lost. Uh, many in the media on the left side of the spectrum immediately said, well, we need to repeal the Second Amendment. We need to get rid of firearms. And, you know, in a way, this relates to a question that we have frequently, like in my 100 Questions book. People ask me, they'll say, Alex, you're a Christian. You're a minister. How can you support the death penalty for convicted murderers? How can you believe uh, that people ought to be able to own firearms? Aren't firearms the problem? The problem uh, is not that humans have access to weapons or things that could be used as weapons. The problem is that we have a sin nature. And you know the Bible says in Romans chapter 13, 1 through 7, that God gives to nations and individuals the right to national defense. The Bible says we have the right to self-defense. So because we have a sin nature, and I'm going to use a word that I don't use all that often, there's, there's mean, there's cruel, there's evil, but I would say what the shooter did in Texas was wicked. That is the strongest adjective that I can muster. To kill people, to commit murder is wicked. Now, the death penalty for convicted murderers, do you know actually, uh, and the Bible does sanction capital punishment for convicted murderers, that not only uh, affirms our view of human life, it actually keeps the society more safe. I know having done crusades in more than two dozen prisons that punishment is a deterrent for crime. And do you know what? We believe in the Christian worldview that human life is so unique and special, in fact, sacred. Genesis 127 says that males and females are made in the image of God. Our country, at least when we have a more solidly held moral compass, we executed convicted murderers. Why? Because if you take a human life, murder, then you pay with your life. That not only is biblical, that not only is part of the judicial code of the Western world for 2,000 years, but that affirms the value of human life. Part of the reason and I, look, I don't minimize the severity of what happened, but we are in a culture that for more than 50 years has not believed in the sacredness of human life. We, we abort babies. We've got media and entertainment that glorifies killing. What we need is not to disarm the public. I had a law enforcement officer on my radio show yesterday. He said law enforcement officers want the populace, to be able to defend themselves. The answer is not to disarm the citizenry. The answer is to tell kids about God, our accountability to God, and the absolute moral compass written on the hearts of all people that, yes, life is sacred. We don't commit murder. We don't exact violence against others. We know truth. We live truth. And to come back to truth and God, who is the foundation of truth, that's the answer for our hurting world right now, not to delve farther into secularism, but to humbly turn back to God. And his arms are open and he will receive us. I want to thank you for watching this. Check out all of our books and resources, alexmcfarland.com. Please like us on social media. Spread this video around. Know that God loves you. We do too. And thank you for watching. Have you ever wanted to raise your hand during a sermon? Well, here's your chance. Hi, Alex McFarland here from the nationally syndicated radio program, Exploring the Word. For more than 10 years, my co-host, Bert Harper, and I have taught scripture and answered hundreds of Bible questions. We've compiled a brand new book of the top 100 Bible questions from listeners of all ages, from questions about supposed Bible contradictions to apologetics facts that prove the truths of scripture. This new book features practical content that will make the Bible come alive for you. 
Can we really be sure that God exists? Are there contradictions in the Bible? I need a book that will help me understand the Bible better. There is so much good content in this book. 100 Bible Questions and Answers, published by Broad Street Publishers and available online at your local bookstores and also through afastore.net.